Hi friends, it's Linda here. It's about 7.45 in, at night and I'm getting ready to go in our little workout room in our neighborhood and exercise. And I so do not want to. I am doing this like literally, like barely. I just finished working and I'm so tired and I just wanna go hang out on the couch with my family because they're in there watching Project Runway. My daughter is obsessed with Project Runway and I just want to go sit on the couch with them and I typically do my exercise and my workouts more like early in the day or early in the morning and now it's night time and I have to get up tomorrow and run four miles tomorrow during the week my mileage has increased and it was like two miles then two and a half three three and a half a couple times a week and now it's up to four so I will be running four miles tomorrow at least with my friend Stephanie <laughs> Thank God that I have somebody to keep me accountable. And um, anyway, so I'm just kind of like bummed out that I have to go exercise right now, but I'm just gonna go do it and I'm gonna check back in with you when I'm done because I just I just wanna share with you guys whenever I'm struggling and you guys have commented before and said, Linda, thanks for sharing with me, you know, just kind of the real deal. So I'm telling you, I don't wanna do this, but I'm gonna go in there and do it and I will make a video whenever I get done. So I'll see you shortly. Hi friends, my workout is complete. I'm in a much better mood now that I did it. I pushed through and did it. <laughs> okay, so when I was working out, I was thinking, how can tomorrow, how can I run like maybe fewer miles? Like, do I really have to run four miles? And then I realized, okay, I need to step up my accountability because I am trying to figure out ways to cut corners already tomorrow. So that's not good. That's not good. I mean, I could do it and you know, it's one mile, like what's the big deal? But really in the scheme of things, whenever I run the half marathon, I want to, I want to feel good. Like I want to feel good when I am accomplishing my final goal in this. And so I'm not going to cut corners tomorrow, but I need to keep myself accountable. So I have my friend Stephanie meeting me but I'm telling you about it. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attach another video to this video and check in with you tomorrow when I complete my four miles just to say I did it. I need all the accountability that I can get right now since I'm pretty much, uh, we're at the halfway point or getting close to the halfway point of training. And um, it's kind of like, well, you kind of might wanna slack off a little bit now, but I just wanna just dig deep and persevere and and really not cut corners. So let's stay accountable together. Let me know how you're staying accountable as well. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Take care, God bless. I am worthy. Friends, take care. I'm checking in. I just finished my four miles and actually I feel great today. I think that it has to do a lot with weather, honestly. I'm just amazed at how much better I feel today on my run than I did a few days ago. Um, so question is, who is keeping you accountable? Are you stepping up your accountability? Today, even whenever I met with my friend Stephanie, she said, how many miles are we running, Linda? She said, three or four? And I said, well, I told everybody on my blog that I was running four, so she said, okay, let's do it. So anyway, um, extra accountability is key to achieving your goals. So who is keeping you accountable? Leave me a comment below. Let's say it together. I am worthy. Thank you, Jesus. You can do it, ladies. You've got this. We've got this. We are rocking these goals out. Take care. God bless. I'll see you later.